Hi, welcome. We are on open box this time. And um, well, I see there is something red up there, which means just type update and we'll see if it becomes white again. All right, so one little update. I saw an earlier post from Raniel and he's one of our uh, team members of Arco Linux and he makes beautiful layouts of open box and it makes me a little bit jealous. So it's Friday night, it's finally weekend, let's do some creative work here. We have this uh, beautiful top bar thing and we wonder of course what in is it in fact that this thing makes so nice and can we change it and so on. So yes, um, you can actually change these elements and the question is of course what is it so you need to learn what all these menus are and what everything is and it's all explained on arcanlinux.com and arcanlinuxd.com is called tin2 and tin2 can be restarted you can edit it as an editor and so on but i want to design i'm going for a graphical user interface so this thing so normally i'll just keep the standard one there are there are so many so many already themes created but why not try and, and have some fun here and create something new so that's the point can we change something can we create something maybe maybe um, it all matters maybe you like something and that's often the, the easiest way like for instance with templates from an, a website or something you start with something that you say ah I almost like this one, 80% of it. And I'm going to work with that one and then try to make it 100% the way you like it. So that's a possible way to go ahead. So a lot of things, a lot of changes you can do. So we have been designing in the past, of course, but uh, here's the nemesis. Why not start with this guy? So let's see what it looks like again. Okay, that's what's like this. And we have here the two and the three and the four. And if you open something up here, then everything changes. And here in three, we set, uh, so those are desktops, by the way. So one, two, three. And in two, we're going to put, I don't know, something else like so. So this is how it will look. And the numbers, the desktops will become bigger if there's something inside. If there's nothing inside, then it will be um, like this, a small four. So, we have opened the window for a little bit of air. So, we could actually go inside this thing, so double click it. And this is now my TIN2 RC, so this is my thing that we're looking at. Um, so, the TIN2 RC is actually overwritten with the one you've chosen. All right. And now we can do some stuff. There are gradients, there are backgrounds, background tooltip, so the little drop down of all kinds of possibilities, all colors and, and so on and so on. Panel, it has been a while since I've been here. For instance, we could change the percentage. I believe that Raniel did that as well. And that means that you get this 5% here and a 5% here, which actually already is a total different kind of look, right? You can have a compact look and see what that is. And it's going to be, of course, more compact. So getting back to my 90%, which I like better. Where can you put it? You can also put it on the bottom. Might be also an interesting idea, but of course we're so used to the fact that it's up here that I'm gonna leave it there. It felt wrong, totally wrong. But never mind. Uh, you choose whatever you want. You can choose the all these backgrounds that have been created. So the backgrounds and the gradients are created here. And once created, you select them here. So let's take something else. Now this looks not that bad. It looks a little bit too transparent. This is also not that bad. If only, if only I could make these texts maybe in black, maybe in white. I already kind of like it. So it's the, that's the fun in this, this uh, wonderful GUI, which we can make a lot easier because there are lots of things in here. So you can see all the elements. But then you need to go get deeper, dig deeper. And um, 
go for taskbar, task buttons, let's see. Desktop name, here's the font. Active background, active font color is white. Inactive color is gray. Yeah. But there can be gray and there can be grayish, right? Not white, white, but almost white. Let's see. Apply. That's not what I intended to find. Ah, there's a desktop name. That's just these names, which is also good. It's also good, it's also good. But I wanted to have the task buttons them. And here's the font color, grayish. Let's make it better readable. Apply. This becomes better readable, but that's the default style. The normal task, the active task is white, the urgent task, and iconified task. Is this an iconified task? Transparency all up. No, there was something else. Or is this still grayish? This still looks like it's grayish. And uh, the question is, what is it? This is the launcher, that's something else. Yeah, that's that. Appearance. So I do believe we need to find it in here. Let's see, show icon, apply. Those icons are gone. So we are in the right tab. Show text, you don't wanna see the text. Text is gone. Don't wanna see a little bit of text. Maybe center text, how does that look? Okay, maybe you don't like the tooltips. Tooltips are out. Nicer. Thumbnails, maybe. Nothing here. Thumbnail size, horizontal padding, fonts. You can make the font a little bit bigger. Hmm. And then back to the coloring. So the color, why and how don't we, on this one it might be interesting as well. So if we click here, then it becomes a little bit grayish as background. Then I know what's open, not bad idea. All right, default style, font color. Icon opacity, background. We, if you don't know what it is, maybe you sometimes can exaggerate. So you see everything is now this red thing. So you know, okay, we are looking at that. And then you can decide what you choose from color. Not that bad either, but we're still looking for the font color. Or is it maybe my own eyes that betray me? Let's go for my own tip, all in red. Okay, what are we changing? We're only changing this. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So, fine. Okay, and now you're white again. The normal task is not activated. Active task, what is that? Okay, apply. That's that thing. Fine. What about black, white and black? Boah. Then I rather, oops, then I rather have white, just white, white. Apply. I do find that this little, this thing is not that white as that one. And I'm wondering why. It eludes me. You will find it probably later on. The launcher, the clock, we can decide to change the clock sizes here. The, the way it's, it looks, an hour and a minute. Find a little bit odd. 
why not at the end like so simple calculator here if we click on this we get this here g simple cal not a calculator but a cal calendar Whew. middle click and something else like this right click middle click is not defined I read it wrong all the colors are white could do a scary thing make that black or red or anything any color you want white and black not much goes together with white and black Boo. there you go system tray okay let's first apply system tray monitor one right to left appearance horizontal padding stuff icon sizes opacity or well, we can play with the opacity for a while oops that's a little bit apply and it looks like this ghost like nah not nice but it's possible that's what i would like about this program you can say what you will because sometimes these icons will not follow and that's an issue in tin 2 but uh, if you don't mind these icons not following the theme then it's actually a wonderful program it makes it so this is probably our alert that we saw earlier on the battery is low done you're out i am not a laptop always scroll because there's more so tooltip and that's it for me can we live with this is this a design we can live with hmm not that happy about this this grayish thing here I'd like to fix that but I think you get the gist it's not gonna be an article about it it's just a video just having fun me it's weekend finally and I'm having some fun with open box design all right have fun